Hi teachers, I'm going to show you some examples of how you can make your Schoology look more organized and kid friendly. I will also be giving you a freebie at the end of the video in order for you to start remodeling your own Schoology page. Really quick, here are a few examples of some Schoology accounts. All of these banners and headings can be found in the link below. I'm going to show you really quick how to insert them on your Schoology account and how to organize your Schoology so that you don't have so many folders and then your students that are young or even their parents are getting lost looking through the Schoology. Here's an example of how you can organize your Schoology by starting with the header on top and these icons in the bottom that are hyperlinked. They're either hyperlinked to another part of the web, like a common website, another part of Schoology, like PE, maybe to another Schoology account, or to parts that are important within your own Schoology. That way they can find them a lot easier. Here um, we have news where she would put announcements, reminders, a schedule for the beginning of the year. Peak of the week would be more for um, students to know what they're going to be doing every day, what times they need to be logging in, um, when they need to be turning assignments in. And if they click on it, it's, it's a bigger page. WebEx would be a folder where all the links to go to their WebEx class or their Zoom class. All the assignments for this week and in this folder previous weeks teachers would be moving the folders as they move past them they would be transferring them moving them over to previous week it's meant for it to be very organized and easy for, st for students to find things it's also very kid friendly and visual so i find this way to be very easy for students to follow and if you're interested in, in doing your header like this, I did post another video about that already, so I'll go ahead and link it at the bottom. The first thing you're going to need to do before you add folders is have your header ready. I'm going to need to get the link for the question discussion box, for the PE, Schoology, the Contact Me folder, the WebEx folder, and the This Week folder. So in your Schoology, let's go ahead and add those folders first. Here you can see I added the folders I needed and the discussion board that I will be linking to these icons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that folder. I'm going to copy that link and that goes here. So I'm going to click on that, go to insert, down to link, and I'm going to paste that link there. And I'm gonna do that for each of these folder. Next, I'm gonna go back and I'm going to link the WebEx folder. Copy, go back, insert, link, and paste that link right there and apply it. And you're going to repeat that same step for each one of these. Once you have completed all the linking, we're going to copy this whole visual by dragging our mouse up all the way. Make sure you have captured everything. Copy that, then go back to your Schoology. Go down to Updates. Click on Updates, and we're going to paste it here. Then we're going to click on the plus sign and click on that bell post and that's going to let it stay on your updates announcements page on top. Now we're going to add the banners to each of these folders and finish with the organization of the rest of our Schoology. The way you're going to add the banner is click on the folder, go to edit. This one is for this week. I'm going to go to insert content, image, attach files and I'm going to find the banner that I want to put there and that one would be emojis this week and you'll see it there and then go ahead and save your changes and you'll see the banner appear right here underneath the folder just like that. I'm also going to add other things to my Schoology account. So I'm gonna add news. For news, I'm not gonna put a folder. I'm gonna make a page.
So I'm going to write news. And then here I'm going to put the header, the banner. And then in the bottom of news here, this is where you can type any announcements or maybe a schedule if you'd like or reminders for your students. You can type anything that the students need to see first when they log into that page. In order for it to stay open on your Schoology, you have to click on this button right here that says display on new page. So click on that and that way it'll look like this. The next thing I'm gonna add is called peak of the week. And for that, you're gonna have a PowerPoint in the folder. You're gonna open the PowerPoint and this you're going to have to change every week. Um, for example, here you would type what time your online class is or if there's any notes and here you can type on it. And then once you're done, you can either save it as a picture or you can just simply do a screenshot. This is one of the few things that you would have to upload every week. And I also use it to send to parents so that they're clear on what the expectations are for the week. And go to add materials and you're also gonna add that as a page, not a folder. Peak of the week. And then insert content, image. Click on attach files. I put it in my desktop, so. Now it's going to upload and then you'll see what it looks like. And like I said, this is something you would update on a weekly basis. It'll look smaller on the Schoology page, but when they open it, it'll be large. Um, once it's there, don't forget to click on this bottom button that says display on new page, create. And everything you upload is going to automatically go to the bottom, but you can always drag it up. I usually like to have this right underneath my news so that the students can see it here. Something else I added was a folder called previous week. That way, if the students want to go back and complete some missing work, you don't have to resend it to them. You can just refer them to that folder and they'll be able to have access to it. One thing I recommend is that you add folders for every single week for the first nine weeks. So for example, week one with the dates, week two, week three, and so on. But you don't want them to have access to them, so you're going to unpublish them. The way you unpublish is go to the right, click on this link, and click on unpublish, and it'll idle it. It'll look like this, faded. That means that they won't be able to see it. When you're ready to publish it and put it in the, in the folder that says, this week so when i want to put it here on this week you're going to go down to that folder click on that icon go down to move and you're going to move it to this week and it'll appear in that folder when they open it and then on friday once they're done or you're done with the week and you want to move it to previous week, you just go inside of your folder and you'll see the week there. Once the week is over, you can move it to the previous week. So you'll follow those same steps, click on move and choose previous week. And then you go back down to week two and you move it again to the folder that says this week. So that way you have all your folders there. You're not erasing any information because you never know what you're gonna need or um, what you're gonna need to access or what your students are gonna need to access. And this is the way that I'm organizing my Schoology. As you see, everything is pretty clear. The students have updates. They have um, the peak of the week. And these links on top help them find everything a lot quicker. Um, I showed you how to link them. Like I said, you can look at that previous video on how you can link the header and how to make the header. I do have all of these headers and banners available by clicking the link under the video, and they're also available in Spanish.
I hope this tutorial helped you and don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be posting more tutorials and along with every tutorial there will be some freebies. Keep an eye out for my next video with some more amazing tech tutorials. Bye!